Hi, welcome to myprojectbazaar.com. Now we are going to see the title Self Organized Public Key Cryptography in Mobile Ad Hoc Networks. A yeah, mobile ad hoc network is an adaptive, self configurable, self organized infrastructure less multi hop wireless network with unpredictable dynamic topologies. By adaptive, self configurable, and self organizing means an ad hoc network can be formed, merged together, or partitioned into separate networks on the fly depending on the networking needs that is a formed network can be deformed on the fly without the need for any system administration by infrastructureless means an ad hoc network can be promptly deployed without relying on any existing infrastructure such as base stations for wireless cellular networks this paper presents investigations of the problems with the existing key management protocols with lightweight boundary Castle. So the scheme allows user to key, create the key pairs to issue certificates to perform authentications and to fully control the security settings of the system without any centralized services. Now we are going to see the DFD diagram. First we are created number of nodes and for the nodes we are generate the initial blocks for each nodes and generate key set for each block and then we are store the key set in the respective nodes and distribute our key set to the all nodes based upon our records jump. then finally and then we are exchanging the key pass with the neighbor nodes if the key pad does not matches means we need to create the general secure patch otherwise if key pad is greater than one means we need to uh, generate the uh, hash function for key pass otherwise share the common key and execute our process. Now we are going to see the project. The front end is NetBeans and then back end is MySQL. In the front end, inside the network patch, in, inside the network package, choose server.java and click run file. So give the input as to and get data. The nodes are created and select time by using the RSA, then click generate, then generate the keys for each node and get the total keys and we need to distribute our keys so keys extracted what are the keys extracted in each node are displayed here and click distribute keys for key distribution and click server then get port number as a handle then set then click listen and inside the node package choose serve.java and inside the node a package choose serve1.java and run file in the ip just give your ip address six five and we set the port number as 100 so choose 100 here and click listen then our nodes are displayed here so node 0 and node 1 and verify verified so keys are verified successfully then click node and click node in both forms then we need to give our IP so 192.168.2.65 and in node 1 190 and then click connect so connected the connections are established between node 1 and node 2 and then click get keys and here also click get keys the keys are get here and uh, uh, click compare and compare in both frame then the keys are compared and the common keys available in both frames are extracted here so we need to share our we need to share our common key so click share common key and receive secure key so our keys are received and here the keys are received and click security analysis here also security analysis so we are 
having two nodes and we are going to transfer the message so click key transfer and key transform here single key encoding and decoding so we need to give our data uh, for this I am giving hello and click get key so your key is get and click encrypt so your encrypted data is shown here and send text so in single key decoding click receive file so your data are sent and received in the next node then click key then you will get the key for the uh, decode the data and click decode data finally we had finally we got the decoder data which we are passed so uh, and then click scalability so in this uh, in this graph we are we are uh, show that that is a key ring size with the nodes and click efficiency for comparing the algorithms